Hi, I'm Jen Royal and welcome to another edition of Talk of the Town sponsored by Aria Trattoria, one of the north end of Boston's greatest Italian restaurants. Okay, in case you're wondering where we are, we're here at the Celtics practice facility in Waltham, Massachusetts. And we're going to be spending a little bit more time here than we did last season. We're going to be getting to know these Boston Celtics a little bit more. And we're going to start with Marcus Smart, the Celtics first round draft pick, six overall. And we're going to find out today, does he think he is the next Rajon Rondo here with the Boston Celtics. First of all, Marcus, one thing we share in common right now, I think, is our love for antibiotics. I'm sick, so I apologize, but you were too. How are you feeling? I'm feeling a lot better. <laughs> uh, actually, I was, you know. Um, I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden, it just, just wasn't feeling well. I can tell you what happened. The weather changes here in New England, and everybody gets sick. I guess that is true. <laughs> Um, I want to talk a little bit about your experience at Oklahoma State and just given the fact that you're getting ready to start your first regular season NBA game and just how much of that prepare you for what you're about to go through? Um, you know, I, I like to think it prepared me a lot. You know, I stayed two years and, uh, you know, I, 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 I experienced some things that I probably would never experience and knew how to deal with those things um, if I would have left my freshman year. And, um, you know, I got a little more experience on the point guard position. And now I'm coming in playing point guard for one of the premier teams in the league and, and in the NBA. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. Um, hate to bring it up, but I want to ask you something about your growth. And, you know, I know for a lot of people, sometimes the biggest lessons that we learn come from the biggest mistakes that we made. How much did the Oklahoma incident with the fan, how much did that change you? How much did you learn about yourself and maybe about new responsibilities uh, as a professional athlete? Um, a lot, you know, uh, and it's hard to admit, but like you say, you do unfortunately learn a lot about yourself through mistakes that you made or that have been made or that you experienced and uh, that was one of uh, one of my biggest mistakes that I that I have experienced but I have learned a lot from it. it's made me a better player a person and uh, you know see things differently well, I have to tell you for a kid your age your work ethic your maturity and your mentality is one of the, the the things that people talk about with you how much does it mean to you that that's what people think of you at 20 years old those are your strengths it's, it's, it's a blessing and an honor, you know, to hear people say those things. Not not every 20-year-old kid or young kid coming into this this league, you know, uh, is talked about with their work ethic. And, uh, you know, usually kids of my age, you know, don't want to work hard, still trying to figure it out. And, uh, you know, it, it takes them a while to get that. But also, they're already considering you a leader in the NBA. 20 years old, a leader? Really? True? Ah. I don't know. I, you know, this I haven't played my first regular season game. I'll be playing that Wednesday, so you know, um, it's amazing to hear hear those type of things. Um, obviously, but I also understand that I have to earn that and we're still work and keep working. Um, but it is it is an honor to have that title. It's every every athlete's dream is to to be playing against the best competition at the highest level. And uh, you know, my dream is coming true and it'll start Wednesday. Okay, last question. Do you consider yourself life after Rondo? How do you not think about that? I don't, you know, uh, Rondo is still part of this team. You know, I, he's still my teammate. You know, um, I'm still learning from him. Um, in my eyes and everybody here, Rondo is, you know, is the point guard of this team. All right, well, thank you for your time. Good luck. Thank you.